Today, Oberammergau is home to about 5,000 people. And this picture postcard town has become famous throughout the world for a very special and very infrequent event. In 1933, uh, there were maybe 700 to 800 inhabitants in, in, in Oberammergau and more than 100 had died in the beginning and they made the vow we will do every 10 years the play of the suffering, of the death and of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I, I imagine it must have been a, a very special a very special moment when one year after they did it on the cemetery of Oberammergau, on the churchyard. So you could see the fresh tombs of the fathers, mothers, families, brothers, friends, uh, babies. And to do this play about the resurrection must have, a, must have had a special meaning there. This is one story, but no matter how hard the skeptics might try, will never be erased from human memory. Remember, this is the story of the crucifixion of Christ. It's the story of the murder of an innocent man, and it encompasses the ugliest side of human existence and the incredible love that God has for the human race. In a despairing, last-ditch attempt to bring an end to their suffering, these townspeople prayed earnestly for divine intervention. History doesn't record how the idea came to them or whose idea it was, but somehow someone came up with the idea of making a sacred covenant with God here beneath the original church cross. He, he, he was, yeah, he was uh, 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 very charismatic. And, but the, on the other, other side, he also was, also was someone who could be angry when he uh, clears the temple from the merchant. 